Hey guys, it's me. This is just me doing a little tutorial video on installing and uninstalling custom content and mods. So first, if you're going to do this, like if you've been like, I really want to install mods and custom content, you're going to have to like, get like a folder, like a uh, extraction folder program thing, whatever they're called. I use 7-Zip. So it's like, it's free. So you just go to the download and you just download it. So once you download it and then there, it'll be in your control, like, not control panel, but, I don't know, like, your programs. So then, after that, you're gonna need a, like, mods folder, obviously, because if you don't have one of those, then, hmm. So, if, I will put a link in the description of this video. I will put a link for 7-Zip, too. Actually, or not, I don't know. You can choose what you want. There's, like, 7-Zip. I think there's one called, like, J-Zip or something like that. I don't know. There's a few. You could just search them. So... So you go down here and you look for this button. It says download. And it'll give you this framework setup dot zip. So you need it. It's a zip opener. I usually show it in the folder. Well, it's not done yet. But like what you do, like you either click show in folder or like just open. <laughs> so show in folder and there it is. Framework setup one. You would click seven zip and you could do extract here. And once you do that, because you need that, and then it would give you a mods folder. I don't, I can't find it. But it'll give you, like, a little, where did it? I don't know. Where'd it go? Hopefully I'm not, like, revealing, like, super secret stuff on here. Um. Okay. Okay, so, like, it says framework setup, and then, at, like, It'll give you a mods folder. No, actually, it'll give you... Okay, I haven't done this in a while. Right here. Framework setup, and then you'll have a mods folder in it. And I'll give you this. Overrides packages in resource.cfg. If you delete this, nothing will work. You need this. So you just take that folder. It's framework setup. You click. You right-click. Copy. Electronic Arts, you go. Libraries, Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 3. And then just paste it in there. So obviously, and then it'll be here. So overrides packages, and then it's in there. So now, yay. So like that's successful. So like let's say you want to download something now. So you, just, you have to create an account for this too. I mean it's free. So let's say I wanted some like makeup for my Sims. So you just type in makeup. I'm just gonna choose one randomly. Let's see. Okay, fine. Misty eyeshadow. Here's something you might want to pay attention to. Attention! The creator of this download has not logged into Mod The Sims for some time. The items displayed here can be considered unsupported and you should use them at your own risk. Meaning they might have a virus or something like that. So be careful. So what you do, what I usually do anyway, is you look for comments. You say thank you. You say thank you for the site. Thank you for this one. It's so stunning. This eyeshadow is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is not working for me. so pretty thank you blah 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 so they're they're saying like okay this works awesome so i would download it then if it's if everyone if, if like it's if it says like you know if people are commenting virus oh my god my game crashed oh god like then i wouldn't download it but people are saying it's good so you go to files this is a dot rar file rar so you open you click it Mine shows up down here. I don't know how some people have it differently. I do it like this. You can either do it in 7-Zip. I usually don't. I usually do this. And you click copy. I have my own mods folder in my downloads folder. This stuff is... I usually make... I just have stuff. So... If you, like... Stuff 1. I'll just put that in there. Then I do 7-Zip. Extract here. So see, misty eyeshadow dot package copy. Then you go down to documents, my electronic arts folder, Sims Three. Ah, uh, blah, blah blah, mods, packages because it's a dot package folder, cast, makeup, and then I just paste it in there. It is now installed into your game. Simple enough. But some sites like um like the sims resource 
there's like it's different it's like a um so let's say i'll show you what i mean the sims resource it is um different so let's say i like this hair let's just say like cool i like this hair okay so you go to it i'm just gonna click download <laughs> that's like a weird pause just give this a second Yeah, I thought you couldn't find my mouse. Okay, so you can click start download, and what it does, it brings it up down there. It's just taking a second. Okay, then you, you'll just open it, but this one goes through the launcher. So you don't have to, like, use the, um, 7-zip and, like, I mean, you might need that for other stuff. But, like, you don't have to, like, go through and put it in your folder. It'll, like, do it itself. If it would open, okay, here it is. So right now it's downloading into my game from, uh, whatever, I don't know. It's going through the launcher, so. Sometimes this takes a long time. It might, it might just be some recording that might be taking a long time, so. I don't know. Okay, I'll just, like, I'll come back in. Okay, so when it downloads, it something like this it's almost like the store thing like when you download store content this is what it does it's doing this so it's installing it's just going through it's like processing the file kind of yeah well takes a long time okay i will cut back after this then after that it'll install and you just click okay so okay so now if you want to uninstall custom content you go and you open your launcher you go down to install content installed content then you're going to get like this menu of stuff whether like some of the stuff is store content some of the stuff is custom content if you don't like something you don't want it you just like you um check it off and then you click uninstall so i mean like like let me see if i have any thing that I don't like or I don't want like what is this um I don't know um I don't know whatever I won't use something but um Yes, whatever you would do. Oh, I don't want to install anything now. <laughs> okay, I guess. So yeah, you just click the check mark, then you just click on install. You go through this little like thing where it'd be like, okay, it'll just take a few seconds, and then it uninstalls itself. So yeah. So basically, that's really all you have to do for stuff like that. Um. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video. Um. I'll talk to you guys later.